services and thank you for listening everybody and um, happy backwards day and I'll see you next time. Bye. take apart this craft and we've been doing um, lots and lots of takeout crafts um, since COVID began and so I'm going to show you how to uh, take apart this craft kit and it's guess how much I love you in winter. All right so this is not going to be any problem. Um, we're going to just remove Our pipe cleaner right here, easily done. And then what I would do is just pull off your petals and the other things that you use to decorate. Foam comes off pretty easily. And then you're left with your paper plate and your craft stick. And go ahead and just give that a good yank comes up with no problem at all. Okay, done. And that was very easy to do. Okay, and for the craft packer. Open this up. Let's give it a good rip. And drop everything out. So the pieces we've got in here are Fake snow. And we've got the craft pieces if we were going to use that. I'm not going to need these directions anymore. Okay, well, you see, and then this is what it looked like if you were going to have done this craft. and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws, but Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so, and Max said no. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild kings, of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. And now 
cried Max, let the wild rumpus start and made him king of all wild things. Of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines, and the walls became the world all around. And grew... That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. And another. Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Where the Wild Things Are, story and pictures by Morris Sendak. get done today is a uh, take down um, our Christmas display. I'm going to show you the empty empty display and I'd like to take apart um, a Valentine craft and then also um, we are going to take apart a craft kit. Uh, guess how much I love your craft kit and I guess if we have time uh, we'll also read um, where the wild things are backwards if we can get that book out of the book drop and um yeah, i think that's probably that's probably good and there might be books that are related to um the crafts that we were doing or that tie in and they they probably haven't been written yet but maybe eventually the library will buy them 